might make your head blow off. Hey, yo, it's a talk show host, Kana Lassiter. Join me for an episode of Relations, the most lit, lit hour of adult conversation. Hold up, hold up. You know you can't forget about me. It's 51 Spade, Alpha Male G-O-D, one half of Relations. You want to hear the truth? Can, 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 you, can, you, can you handle the truth? It's where it's at, baby. It's where it's at, baby. What's good? Welcome to another exciting episode of Relations. My name is Kana Lassiter. It's your boy, 51 Spade, Alpha Male, G-O-D, the ninja you love to hate. We got some exciting topics for you tonight. The first one is, if you saw your friend's partner cheating, would you tell? And the second one is, learning how to live with a man, I'm sorry, learning how to live without a man versus how to keep one. Let's dig in. I want to go for the first topic tonight of if you saw your partner's or your friend's partner cheating, would you tell? That's a direct question for you. Like if you saw one of your homeboys, girls out with another dude, would you tell your homeboy? So this is one of those topics that's kind of situational i don't really think it's uh like a yes or no because you would have to approach it based on like that the circumstance it, yeah, the, yeah just the just the individuals because there are certain certain people who like to kill the messenger like like they might know their girl as a hoe might that's just, true just just might but they don't want to hear that shit you know, it's kind of like it's kind of like when you go to school and you got this pimple on your face. People are like, hey, you know, you got that pimple on your face. Like I ain't wake up like, in the morning and, 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 and I ain't <laughs> look in the mirror. It's like it's like the same thing. Like they actually might know. But I will say this, like. Um, I generally do have guy code. And then if I base it just on that, I'm always live by guy code because I noticed that women a lot of times. Like, no matter what, you could be out and about, and it might just be a friend, and they'll just tell, or it might be a cousin, and they'll just tell just because. And when you get the message, it's like, oh, yo, uh, Shaniqua told me you was out with a girl. Who, my cousin? You know, so. Oh, yeah, they're going to say it just like that. <laughs> yeah, it's just, you know, it, yeah. it's just like they Barking don't. up the wrong tree. Yeah, they don't have all the facts. So it's just like, I feel like, you know, women will stick by some code, whether it's right or wrong. They don't do any investigation. So, I mean, you could be wrong, too. But just on guy code, you know, if it looks suspicious. So based on guy code, you the answer is yes. You're going to say something to your homeboy that you saw his lady out with another dude. Depending on, like I said, situational. I, it's, that might not be 100% for every person. You know, because I don't have that many guys that, like, I'm, you know, cool Close. with and, and, and cold Well, that's like why that. I kind of limited, took away associates or your Facebook friend. I kind of wanted to narrow down to people who really mean something to you because if it... The, the reason why... I'm posing it to those specific people because let's say you decided not to say something mm -hmm. and it came around. Well, damn, Spade was there mm -hmm. and you never said anything. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it was like, damn, you knew or yeah. And even if you say, yeah, but I didn't know what it was. I think your friends still would challenge you like, damn, you still should have came to me to check to check it out. You understand and what I'm that's, saying? And that's why I say it's, it's situational because you have some that just flip out over anything mm. you know what i'm saying like let's just say it wasn't nothing and i decided to tell you something now this is a little extreme but let's just for just just say for instance he go and set a car on fire like i don't really have all you don't those want to be responsible <laughs> yeah i don't really have all those facts so i don't want you yeah. to set a car on fire and you in jail and then and then come to find okay. out it was a cousin or it was you know, it wasn't really anything. Well, I think people will say something. I don't like. I don't expect to tell my girlfriend, "Hey, I saw your man at the flea market. He was with another bitch." I don't expect her to not investigate. I don't expect her. To, I don't go expect her to go you, right to the house and cut up all his clothes. Yeah, I expect her to telling? call him and say, "Hey, you expecting? Hey, but you expecting that? But you'll be surprised. That's why I said it's situational because you'll be surprised at how many times I didn't got to the crib." <laughs> And got accused of some shit. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and, yeah. you know, and they got a lot of bass in their voice. Yeah. When they, you know, 
when they wrong. <laughs> they got a lot of bass in their voice when they wrong, and then you got to calm them down and this and that. But then my initial thing be like, who told you that? Because it came from somewhere. So yeah. now I want to know who told you that. Right. And then that make me look at your friend a like different. a little different and I don't want that bitch over here no more you know what I'm saying <laughs> stop because it you go with that <laughs> now hold on now I'm gonna challenge you on this and the reason why I'm gonna challenge you is challenge all day. because the person challenge that, yourself that, the person that you're with is the person that you love that's number one number two you always if you love somebody question their friends and the level of loyalty their friends have not only to you but to the situation like is your friend like if you call me your friend not only do you need to be loyal to me you need to be loyal to my household what i got on, going on in my house but that ain't always you understand what i'm saying i got you so, that ain't always what's okay going well on. let me finish so like if you knew that your girlfriend had a friend that was shady or not loyal, you would not want that person in your female space. So the, I feel like the fact that she did see you somewhere and was like, look, what if she just approached it? I'm not saying he doing anything wrong, but I'm just saying I saw him at the flea market today. You can't get mad at her friend and not want her friend over at the house. Her friend is looking out for your lady who you're supposed to love. So you're supposed to respect the friend for looking out, depending on how she delivered the message. I will say that because a lot of friends are shit starters and so they're going to be someone on some wild so, shit. So let me ask you this. Let's say, for instance, the friend bypassed you and decided to ask me. What was up? Yeah. Depending on... Nah, it's depending. No, no, no. <laughs> depending on who the friend is. Like, I have some very... I got some friends that... I mean, we've been friends since third grade. So, if she saw you out somewhere or saw my man out somewhere, she might know the nature of our relationship. She might know details of our relationship to make her not overreact. So, she might bypass me and go to you like, you know what? Is that is that somebody you and your girl kicking it with? Or what? Because I see you at the flea market the other day. She going to come at you like that based on her um, camaraderie with you as my boyfriend. And see, you understand what I'm saying? I do. But see, this is the thing. I don't really have that type of camaraderie <laughs> with my girl's friends. You know what I'm saying? I, I, that's just me. I prefer, like, if that's your friend, I could speak to him. Hey, what's up? Cool. This, this, but there that. might be a little level of camaraderie and loyalty to the relationship. That's what I'm trying to tell you. My friends don't have to directly speak to my guy. They hear enough about my guy through me. They know how happy I am. So we share jokes and go back and forth about the relationship or about the guy that they hardly ever talk to. But there's inside jokes and intricacies that a friend would know. So they have camaraderie where your relationship is concerned. You understand what I'm saying? I do. So I'm going to show you the difference between certain things. Okay. That might be how you, you and your friends we rock. Are. And maybe that's, that's female stuff. So now I'm going to tell you something a lot about me and my homeboys. So when you are a guy, it's a guy and you have a clique. Okay. Okay. Now in that clique, once like your once the lady meet your friends, they always single one out is that's the one that you hunt pussy with. That's or that's maker. that is the one that you know they assume won't stop you if some shit go down. Right. And guess what guy I am when it go down. Yeah. Like I'm the guy that like, <laughs> well I know spade no. <laughs> And I'd be like, well, what did I do to you? Like, I ain't never brought him no pussy. I ain't never did anything, this and that. But they just look at me in is a way because they look at me and say, well, if he get a lot of women and this, this and that, then if he getting a woman and he is a friend with her, with her yeah. then he must have also push you right along with it. Yeah. And that's actually not true because a lot of times I'm actually the guy that's like, don't do it, dog. Like, you don't really want that doghouse feeling when it's going down. Like, they have me totally wrong. Right. So, if they see me out and about, I just feel like they think. They're going to rush to Yeah, they're going to rush to the conclusion to think yeah. that I'm doing something that actually not. Like, actually, y'all really owe me an apology. I done, I done tried to stop a lot of you men, you know what I'm saying, from getting in situations. They just don't listen, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just what it is. Like, like for real. And... If I saw, if they see, if I saw, like, if I saw them out, I would probably peep it. Okay. The scenario. Now, if it's, and that's why I said situational, because there's certain, there's certain things that people do when they out and about, and they might be somewhere they don't, they don't really supposed to be there, and then you just happen to run into them. So, if I walk up on them, 
And it's like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know you've been busted. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you, we don't talk like that. Yeah, you, know yeah. <laughs> you already know something wrong. So, and, and if I'm in a spot, and you ain't supposed to be in that spot too, and yeah. I see you in there, then of course I got to tell my homeboy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I just, like I said, like I don't, I don't have any problems with anybody having colds but it's guys i know that a lot of times females will overreact to shit but i'm gonna say just based on cold i'm gonna always tell my homeboy now i don't overreact to shit yeah i think that's gonna be the, my big achilles heel with saying i would or i wouldn't i think that one i agree with it being circumstantial i'm gonna say that i always will because i would want my home no matter what let me say this. I, I think, think I always will, but I yeah, would what if she ugly? approach. What do you mean, what if she's ugly? It don't matter. It does matter. No, it doesn't. So you think a fat girl and an ugly girl and a fine girl can attract all the same shit? I think they all got a vagina. Hmm. Am, I, am I right? <laughs> right. Um, so I'm going to say that I always will, but the way I'm going to approach it is going to be circumstantial Okay. because you could say you could do your due diligence and ask the right questions of your friend to find out what category you need to really go in. Hey, girl, what did you do today? Oh, girl, I went to the flea market. I, my feet was hurting by the time I got there and I sat in the car. Well, there goes an explanation for me. I don't need to say, I, I'm okay to say, oh, yeah, I saw so-and-so in the flea market. You know, I don't even have to mention the other bitch. So you snooping without snooping. I'm snooping without snooping. You know what I'm saying? Because she was at the flea market at the same time I was at the flea market. She already told me she didn't go in. So there's not a big chance that he met the bitch at the flea market and they walking around together. She came to the flea market with them. So I know they were together. So I don't need to ask that. You so know you what I'm saying? So you don't ever just mind your business because it really not ain't. About, it's not about minding my business when I say, "Would you it? tell your friend?" I, I listen. I can't. I, I, I have friends that I can count probably on one hand. Mm -hmm. I might have six good friends, so I might have to use two hands. But what I'm trying to say is, I have a small number of friends, mm -hmm. and if I know them to be with a man, and I see that man out with another young lady, I'm going to do my due diligence. It might not include running right to her and telling on him. I'm saying that I have to ask the right questions to make it. sure I feel good about saying or not saying. But I'm still, I'm still saying, do you ever just mind your business? Of course. <laughs> But it's not I just gave like you an example of me minding my business. It's normal for me to ask my no, you friend. What, you were snooping. You were throwing it, fish lines. But, it's, but that's normal for me to ask my girl what she did today. That's normal. It's not like I was like, hey, girl, I need to know exactly what you did today. Don't need nothing out. I said, hello. Girl, what did you do today? Oh, girl, I went to the flea market. Well, just... Being a friend. But you're asking that question based on because you feel but that your still... spidey senses are on, but they off. Okay. That's okay, though. I feel like that's okay. I feel like the next step, I feel like saying something without asking those questions is wrong. I don't feel like putting your feelers out there and finding out little information you need to direct you is, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Because it may lead me to not say anything at all. So you swing in the bat 100% of the time. 100% of the time, yes, I'm sir. going to ask a question or two yes, sir. That's what we to disagree. see what, what I need to be asking and how I need to ask. Yeah, I'm not swinging that bat 100% of the time. That's you know, crazy. I'm not. That's crazy. I'm not. Because uh, I'm going to be honest Given with you. Given who your friends are, I would think that that's nuts. You only have, you like me, you have a small amount so of friends what? that you said you have guy code Some with. people, hey, some people... Don't want to listen. I don't give a fuck if your friends are big or minuscule. Some people don't receive bad news well. And they kill and shoot the messenger every time. And trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Like, just because you might be right and you might have those facts lined up. It's almost like saying, like, I caught your girl cheating and now you're expecting what? So... If he's gonna be with, if he gonna be with the bitch, he gonna be with her. So everything that I'm doing is minuscule, but they often look at you a different way because they feel like one, you might be trying to break them up. Then it turned into uh, you want her, like what, what, like what you was deserving her so so much for. Like it turns into other shit that you trying to be 
the the friend that you think you but need to be. But let me tell be. you what else it could turn into. What if? Well, guys, it turned into some other. It shit. could, but but <laughs> what if you did see her doing something wrong and she decides to go home and say, "This is what happened," mm-hmm. and then let a week pass and she and they your friend knows that you saw them mm-hmm. and she could also use that against you. Like, damn, your your friend Spade ain't shit because. You know, I know I came clean, but he was there at the party. He saw us together and he didn't say nothing to you. Like, I came home to tell you because he was there. I told on myself based on the fact that your friend was there. So I'm trying to figure out how you call him friend and he ain't even checked in and, and asked you what was up with me because there are women who will get ahead of shit like okay I'm at the flea market mm-hmm. with this nigga I ain't supposed to be with mm-hmm. there go his homeboy over there I'm mm-hmm. gonna go home and just let my nigga know what happened mm-hmm. I'm gonna jump ahead of it but what what my man might do is just lay back and see well, let me see if my homeboy say something to me about it mm-hmm. cause you ain't gonna call your homeboy and just explain hey I know you seen my girl today but uh ain't no real G gonna do that a real J gonna, G gonna sit back and say well, let me see if my homeboy you know what I'm saying if he say anything to me and if you don't it might come back on you how the fuck would you know what a real G with your L7 Whatever. ass? Whatever. I'm not an L7, though. No. <laughs> yes, you is. I'm so G. <laughs> no, you are so G. No, not. I am so G. <laughs> you fly like, corners. Pumped. I am not. <laughs> yeah. And, and, that is and, such a and, lie, though. No, that's yeah. such a not. Um, <laughs> the thing is, when you know your friends, so I'm going to just say this. When you know your friends, you know how they react to certain things. So if this is a situation that I choose not to do, we've already dealt with this situation before. I'm not talking about I'm running into some shit that's blind that I've never dealt with before. So even if he approached me on the shit, I'm going to bring up other shit that that I didn't try to do before. Like, hey, remember that time I tried to tell you about Brenda? That you fucking, <laughs> that you fucking ignored me about? He ain't going to hear that shit, though. But, that's, but he ain't going to hear that shit either way. It, that is like a double-edged sword. That's what I'm talking about. Like, some people receive news well, or some people use that against you. That's just say, for instance, like, I seen this friend, and then I decided to tell him. But let's just say that I've been having, you know, run-ins with her and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. He's not going to see it that way at all. He's going to be like, when because you... Because y'all you, already yeah, is. You don't, you, don't, you don't want me... You ain't want me with the bitch anyway. You, you don't... Like, like... Niggas flip the that. niggas flip the script by some pussy. Like like that. like if I'm gonna keep it a buck, they will flip the script by some pussy. Like your friend will turn into somebody. And I'm just talking about from a na- a man standpoint. They will flip the script right in front of you and turn into somebody you don't even recognize. Mm-hmm. Because you would think to yourself, like, once I tell you, this shit be this shit should be dead. Yeah. And it's not dead. Know why? Because of that shit. What you just said. See, they get home like. I can't suck his dick. She can. You know what I'm saying? I can't give him no pussy. She can. Like, she can maneuver her way out of a scenario real quick. Mm-hmm. Like, me just saying something, that's, that's just me talking. Right. Keeping them, you know what I'm saying? Keeping it real. But when she get home, she gonna pull out all the tricks. But that's not your, that, so what? You still did what you were supposed I, to do as that person's friend. And like so I said. So what, what tricks she pulled out of the book? I, what, some see, of it the is situational. the difference situation. between me, I don't tell my girlfriends anything with the intent of them going home and packing a fucking bag. Neither ever, do I. Ever. Ever do I give advice neither do that's I have, final. Neither do I. But, get, but neither, neither do I. But the difference is you a female and I'm, and I'm a man. Females can catfight and do all this shit and unblock motherfuckers and I don't want to talk to you no more and don't say shit to me. We end up in gunfights and fights and all kind of shit behind some shit. And I'm not fighting behind some pussy that ain't mine. You know what I'm saying? So, like, really, if it's a situation, and I, and that's why I said situational. Because there are some homeboys I feel like I can talk to him and he can be like, oh, okay, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Good looking out. But all of them ain't like that. It depends on who got their hooks into them deep enough. Mm-hmm. And then your scenario might flip. Mm-hmm. So, it's like, you know, damn if I do. Damn if I, I don't. I feel like every <clears throat> single one of my man's homeboys will fucking tell on me. Period. There is not a question in my mind. If they saw me pass 1001 somewhere at night by myself or with another dude, they're going to say something. Period. That's cool. I ain't got no issue with that. Tell on a motherfucking ass. I don't got no issue with that. I can't, I can't say what happened, but that doesn't necessarily mean that after that happened, everything will be smooth. They might not be friends after that. Uh, you might give an excuse on what happened to this and that. Or, like I said, sometimes they feel like 
you might be checking for him. You know, because sometimes that is, you know, that is a scenario. Like with me, I don't really like to meet like my homeboys, girls like that and be cool with them like that. I don't want they don't need to have my number. They don't, we don't need to be chit chatting like that and this and that. Like we don't need to have it. I got cold contact and everything else. So even if I saw something, like I said, it would have to be something that I walked into and they is not supposed to be there. They know it. I know it. And then I'm going to be like, yeah, okay, we already know. And then, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, So would you ever handle it and just talk to the female and like, no. look, hey, my homeboy ain't here. I don't know this nigga. No. So you got 24 hours to tell my homeboy what's up or I'm going to tell him. That's movie shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That that's the shit that went down on heat or some shit like that. Like I'm not Robert De Niro. It's like no, <laughs> that is that is not going now. Now I understand shit like that. Like if because I'm not in those type of I'm not in that type of circle where you have friends that are like more like family mm-hmm. more than anything. So they are intertwined like that. So if I was in a situation like that and it's someone that I consider my sister or whatever it's that. And I can and, and something go down, yeah. But she ain't got twenty four hours. <laughs> she got till she get home. <laughs> like that's it. She don't got that shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because even holding off that long is a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It, it's a little bit crazy. It's but like, you can still justify it and say, "Hey, I didn't come. I didn't tell you the same day because I wanted to give her the chance." Because y'all, the way you tell the scenario is. She knows she wrong. Mm-hmm. You know she wrong. So it's mm-hmm. like, hey, I I spoke to her. So I had an understanding that she was going to deliver the message. Gotcha. So I wanted to give her some space to do that. Gotcha. So you can get out of waiting. You can't get out of never saying anything. Well, you saw ATL? Waiting is, is, is what got Sinclair and T.I. character at odds because he said you knew. You know what I'm saying? So he gave the same scenario what you're talking about. He gave her the opportune time to go tell her, but that didn't change how he felt about about his homeboy holding out. He didn't give a fuck about none of that time. Mm-hmm. He felt like you need to tell me exactly when it happened. That's why I said you only have an amp amount of time from there to there to tell me. Now, if, now it goes back to what I said. If you know your homeboy, then everything is situational. Yeah. Because if you know him, then you shouldn't even be giving or siding with this chick to say you got 24 hours of this and that. For me, if I know I'm like that, <laughs> bitch, you got until you get home. Right. You know what I'm so saying? So it depends on the friend, depends on yeah. the situation, depends on all yeah. those factors. You got until you get home. Because if I hold this information, this and that, it's like I said, he got bent out of shape just on a simple fact that he like, listen, I'm trying to, I was trying to give her time. To, to tell you, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And he wasn't trying to hear that shit. He like, man, go on, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Get out. Get lost. Get out. Mm-hmm. You know, Like, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, men take shit different ways because we look at certain things. Not every man don't look at it the same way. It might be a situation like, damn, how'd you know and hold on that long? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or why you didn't tell me when it immediately happened. Every man is different. Some men care. Some men don't. I think this might weigh heavier on the female perspective because there aren't a lot of times in relationships that I think a woman could go to her guy and say, hey, I don't like Spade. And that guy cut Spade off. That's not going to happen. But Mm -hmm. I can tell you that a man could say, hey, Kana, I don't like Rebecca. That bitch got to go. And guess what Kana going to do? In most cases, cut Rebecca off. So when there comes a time for a woman to prove her loyalty to her friend, in most cases, this is the opportunity that she's going to do it for fear that she's on the outs anyway. All the time. Whether you like the boyfriend and respect the situation or not. When a woman is in a relationship, her boyfriend really becomes her everything. And those people who are your best friends and your ride or dies, it don't mean they go away, but they're on the outside of your bubble. It's just something that we do. So I think whenever a girl on the outside of the bubble has an opportunity to pop that bubble, not to burst it or, or make it go away but to say hey i'm still here i'm still standing beside you i still want to prove to be an asset not only to you but to the relationship i don't think she's doing damage to you or the relationship if your ass wasn't doing anything wrong i think she's showing you that hey i support you guys i support the relationship and 
this is my way of just supporting an individual in that relationship. She can't support the relationship if she's a liar to me and not loyal to me. Sorry. Doesn't work that way. You can't be out and see my man with several women and then be at my wedding or at my vow renewal like this. And you, I, I don't want that type of friend. So yeah, while I'm with you with bitch mind your own business, stay in your place, I don't want people a part of my coven that can't come to me and say, hey, I saw something that's just a little bit off. I just think there's nothing wrong with saying something. I think the, the message and the delivery just has to be correct. But I don't have a problem with my homegirl saying, hey, I saw your, your boy at the flea market with another chick, you know, just in a way that I think doesn't disrespect my man because you don't know who, he could have been his cousin his his mother-in-law it could have been a number of people so when you come give me the information you still need to give it to me like you support my relationship and don't think that it's automatically the worst because there could be a great explanation for it but i don't have a problem with telling or a female telling me i just want her to come correct that's cool I ain't got no issue with that. I, I'm not even going to lie to you. I, and I understand your point, but like I said, it is situational. I don't think females deal with the same type of backlash that a guy that a guy is going to have. Like, you know, we we really take it there when shit start going wrong. And you got to remember that the same thing that you're talking about, that you're trying to win those brownie points with your man, uh, um, that over trumps a lot of theories or things that go on in a guy's head. So, what can your homeboy really tell you? You know what I'm saying? Like he can deliver a lot of a lot of news, but depending on, you know, like Pop say, rest in peace. If he's pussy whipped, uh, you're in trouble. You know what I'm saying? Because there ain't really shit you can say do or anything it's not that we're going to be saying anything i'm not i would never say that i want you to end that, that relationship mm -hmm. that's not my point of saying it's just that hey i'm in the same spot she was in the same spot and just in case it come up that's hey, perfect that's that that's just what it is but a lot of times sometimes it just some things don't really look like anything and you i feel like I can pick up on that like mm -hmm. real quick. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if I pick up, if I just see a male and female out or just her, you know, out with a guy and it just, you know, they're not holding hands or no shit like that. It's just like some regular conversation. She see me, she might even speak. Hey, what else, babe? You know, that's nothing right there. That, it's like when the bitch is maneuvering, trying to get away from me or she, you know what I'm saying? She look like a, 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 a deer caught in headlights. Yeah. Like that's when I know like, okay. This is what it is. Yeah. So, you know, you already know. So by the time you get home, you better have said something because it's a wrap. <laughs> she might be <laughs> learning how to live without Batman instead of learning how to keep him, which is the second topic of the night. Learning how to live without a man versus how to keep one. I thought this was a real real interesting topic um i think a few days back i was having a conversation with people about being submissive and i know that's a completely different topic but i think it coincides with the second part of learning how to keep the guy so i, I think it coincides but we won't start there i'll make a more point of that when i go but i wanted you to kind of start it up start us off with how you felt about the subject entirely i think that you'll probably reference just the movement of women being strong hear me roar being independent that we are probably raising our daughters um to do it without a man how do you feel about that um hmm. see this this topic is real real broad because I often believe that in a relationship, don't use your significant other as a crush. You gotta know exactly who you are. You know, like if you love yourself, then you'll have a lot to give. And if you're insecure, have insecurities and stuff like that, and you're using your man is your happy point, then you might run into some problems. Um, sometimes when I meet women and they got girlfriends or some have limited girlfriends, it's advice that the women give that is what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. It's, I am woman, hear me roar. 
So like if you bring, you know, uh, you giving them a back massage, you bringing them, uh, they drinks, they food. Like you know when you out at out in places or barbecue, family reunion, and they're waiting on, and you. they're waiting on them. It's like, what his hands broke, his feet broke, <laughs> like. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to wait on him. You don't got to wait on him and this and that. So it's like, at what point in time, because I've said this before, women have this thing where I think they get, they dip and dabble into when they want to be, I am women, hear me roar. And when they like, okay, I have a man. And it's all intertwined into one. And it, I think it can be a bit confusing. Now, you do have women that think they are... They're made for relationships, and I think that's a big issue with inside itself. Like, even went from one extreme to the next. I, I have to go to the extreme because there are. You see these women that's like, "Well, I don't need no man. Um, I can make my own money. I I can raise a kid by myself." They just have this anger <laughs> in them where they feel like they can do it all by themselves, and deep down, they don't feel that way. Like, they really want a man, and those are the ones that's trying to sabotage, like, your relationship, this and that. They see you so happy, girl, you'll wake up one day. Like, you'll see that you don't... You'll snap out of it. Yeah, and that's why I went to that extreme, because Mm -hmm. I'm just like, really, deep down, that's that friend that when you meet them, and they meet a guy, and they on a speed, like, race to the altar. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, damn, I thought you said you ain't need no man, and I, you met him, like, six months ago. Now right. y'all talking about getting yeah. married. Yeah. So how do you go from, you don't need no man, I'm happy being single, I'm all this type of shit, to speeding down the goddamn aisle? Yeah. Um, It's confusing. It's confusing. I, I, can say, I can say it's confusing <laughs> because I grew up in the era where it's like you don't need you don't need him. You need to have your own bank account. You need to do this. You need to do that. And I accomplished some things as an individual, but I still am one of those people who doesn't feel complete without a partner. Mm-hmm. Um, many celebrity interviews out late with powerful men around powerful men, like. I still, I lived a great life. People can look at some of that stuff and say, well, damn, I mean, she's really doing her thing. But I still went home by myself. I went home alone for a long time. And that is, you could be super successful and not have that and feel that success over there. It's not, it's, that doesn't feel, it looks like success to other people. It does not feel like success to me. I'll say it doesn't feel like success to me because a lot of the times, you're out there grinding as a woman because you want a family. So there isn't one without the other. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I work for this great corporate company. I'm doing all these interviews. I'm doing great. I got money in the motherfucking bank. But I only want all that so that I could marry and have kids and manage a household. I don't want it so I could keep doing it by myself. So what do you say to the women that's saying you're fine? You don't need all that stuff because like you see more of that. You see more of that now, and I think like there's not a lot of union between the the man and the woman because now we get into situations of like, you know, who makes more money, that's who run the household. Or if this woman makes more than a the man, then let's say your girlfriend say, well, he's a bum. Like, you know, you make more money money than him, and they just have this down look on it. So if mm-hmm. you're doing that, what do you say to the women that's that's bringing those type of things up? I have you can't that's why we're talking about it it's weird to tell somebody who's telling you you don't meet a man stack your own paper do it for you those are very positive messages especially for a little black girl very positive messages I just think they need to be integrated with marriage and husband and being a homemaker I don't think there's anything wrong with that but it's very difficult for me to say things like that because there are women out there like right now like oh that's bullshit I ain't never telling my daughter that Mm -hmm. because they want us to switch from being submissive and waiting on a man to running the fucking country to being the president Mm -hmm. 
You understand what I'm saying? And it's okay to empower little girls and say, hey, one day you could be the president of the United States. But it's okay to say you can be Mrs. Smith as the president of the United States. You could still be someone's wife. You could still be submissive and still be a powerful woman. I'm an example of that. I am great at both. I still feel you could say something to them. I just don't, and, and, I don't know how to say it. Maybe. Just tell them. I, you, you don't know how to tell him. I'll tell you how. See the thing, the, the thing with women that do that type of shit, like, and to make people understand exactly what I'm talking about. Let's just say, for, I'm gonna paint a scenario for you. Let's just say, for instance, you want to lose weight, right? You want to get in shape, look fine for the summer, summertime body, hard body, and you decide to go to a boot camp. Mm-hmm. Those females that's talking is like, I show up to that boot camp and someone say they're going to whip me in the shape and they 300 pounds. Now, I'm going to think to myself, how in the fuck are you going to whip me in the shape and you ain't in shape? Because this is like the topic that we're talking about. Like, just because you're saying you don't need a man, can you even keep a man? That's what I would be saying to them. I'm not saying you got to be submissive. I'm not saying any of that shit. Can you even keep one if you got one? Right. You're you know telling me you don't need one, but if it, you had one, yeah. could you keep him? Exactly. I honestly don't think they could. Exactly. Not the women that are like that. <laughs> exactly. Because they're going to want to have that relationship on their terms. I'm not cooking and cleaning. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. Not all of them, mm-hmm. but women are either one extreme or the other. They're never they, perfectly in the middle. They are. It's yeah. like when I look at like and I can't remember not to you know cuz it, it's been a while like there was this this show that came on and it was with Chili from from um TLC, TLC. and she had this list of what she thought like what she wanted from a man mm-hmm. and it was like hey he got to be successful he got to have rock hard abs he got to have a big dick he got to have a big bank account he got to be religious I'm like that Nigga might exist, <laughs> but probably not. But then she's not willing. You want all this shit, but also you're not going to change your attitude of how you are. Mm-hmm. And that's why her motherfucking ass is single. Right. And that's what I'm talking about right there. Like, you can have all the lists of shit that you want to, but can you compromise? Are you a good woman? I, like, just because you are a woman don't mean you are a good one. And, and I really uh, think and, a lot and, of women and, place a lot of value on themselves that they actually don't even have. Exactly. And and that's what I was getting at. It's like, you can say that you don't want a man or say, well, men ain't shit or this, this, and that. But if I look at your track record, like if I pull your whole facts, I mean, your um your woman facts. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah. it, that, that, that's repetitive. You know what I'm saying? That just happened. Your woman facts. Like if I pulled it, would you have high divorce rates on there? You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> like your, your credit looking bad with men. You know what I'm saying? Relationships are like from man to man. That just would show me that you just don't know how to take care of a man. Like, and, and a lot of times, even when they find, like, and I often tell people this, like, you know, when you see women that look good, and I be like, you show me a fine woman and I show you a man that don't want them. That's like as true as fact it'll ever come. Cause women often look at other women, but why the fuck she ain't got no man? Yeah. <laughs> you might want to dive into a personality and see that everything that glitter ain't, ain't goddamn gold. gold. Yeah. And that's you know, that's just what it is. Like I hear a lot of women that say that, but I don't really feel like they if they was in a relationship, would you take the time to listen to the man? Do you know how to please a man? Do you know how to make this relationship run? Do you know how to even argue in a right way? Mm -hmm. Because there's also a a right way to communicate. Mm -hmm. And if you just, if you bitching at a man, most men just shut down, like immediately. Like, we don't want to hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? So we don't want to be there with you. Mm -hmm. So if, I don't got no peace at the house that I'm about to fucking come to and I got to stay out like like my brother. He was like, hey, every time I go before I get to the crib, I got to stop by the bar. And I'm like, why? He like, because she going to be on some other shit like once I get there. And now I would say is the woman. Do you even know how to resolve that? Like once you find out he don't want to be at the crib, do you know what to do? 
to alleviate that whole scenario. Yeah. Do you know what to do? You, it's easy to talk that shit. Yeah. You a woman, hear me roar. Yeah. I think it's just a thin line, but I mean, if you, if you, if, if the shoe was on the other foot, uh -huh. because I know men now that not all men came from single parent homes. You know, men come, some men come from homes where they had both parents. Uh -huh. Their mama told them, taught them how to cook and their daddy taught him how, how to change a tire. So you get this guy who has got his shit together uh -huh. and who looks good. Seemingly a great man, but that man is also saying that, hey, if you don't want to be here, step, step. I don't need you to cook. <laughs> no. I can clean up behind my damn self. So if the shoe was on the other foot, you know what I'm saying? Like men, little boys grow up to be men now mm -hmm. who don't need a woman. Mm -hmm. So are they also forgetting how to keep one? I will say this. Um, I don't really think it's about... I don't really think it's about how to keep them because I really feel like getting the woman is probably the easy part. The maintain a relationship is going to be more of the harder part. Mm -hmm. Now, how much of your partner and you are compatible is going to be a, 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 a real big thing because I think that's how certain people get stuck in relationships that they're not really supposed to be in like because they don't really know how to walk away mm -hmm. from that relationship. It's like how y'all argue. Like for me, I say like there are certain things that my spouse can do, but she can't press a button in me that's going to turn me red because I know what that looked like because I've been in relationships like that. And if I'm in a relationship with someone where she is pressing buttons that making me want to put my goddamn hands and feet all on her. Like, that is like a relationship that I have to recognize that I got to get out of. Because it ain't even someone that's really trying to work the relationship out. It's just like, we're just doing like tit for tat type shit. And that's what I'm saying. Like, when you in that type of relationship, I don't think certain people recognize. So, I'm not going to say that they forget. It's just that sometimes misery love company. And when you're in a toxic relationship, you stay in it. Now, another thing and the biggest thing that certain men do is like, once we have kids with certain women, we stay there for the kids. And I don't want to tell nobody not to do that. I'm just saying that it causes bad shit sometimes mm -hmm. when you're just there for the kids and you just don't love this woman. Right. Exactly. But, again, I think you guys, there are a lot of guys, and I, and I know we went into this scenario based on a woman's perspective mm -hmm. but I think to tackle the guy's perspective to me is important because I think that's how y'all whole hop you understand what I'm saying I think that's why y'all also y'all whole hop which means okay if Kara ain't acting right I'm gonna go to Kana house and if Kana ain't acting right I'm gonna go to Deidre house and if Deidre ain't acting right I'm gonna go to Samantha house you whole hop that's what whole hopping is you also nest meaning there's a toothbrush at each one of them spaces your f a favorite blanket each one of them got your ass a PS4 cause they don't know when you gonna come through and you might stay tonight so they want you to be comfortable you understand what I'm saying so you got little situations mm -hmm. which to me is a symbol that you just don't know how to keep Keep one or it, another topic you're just greedy as fuck but I think because you can whole hop it it does you're losing practice now because you don't know how to maintain that one household because your ass ain't there you too busy whole hopping mm -hmm. um, I would just I would say that if he's whole hopping he got a hoe at home um, and the reason I say that is because if you have a queen at home, you ain't finna ho hop. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, and and then that goes back to what I was saying about do you know, do you know what to do with your man? Because I just addressed the point that if he don't want to be there, are you doing something to to continue to drive him out that fucking house? Well, that's how he at Deidre House, but, and, that's, and that's why he's at Sarah House and Kara House and Amy and Schuler. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that. That's why. He, that's why he's at those spots. You know what I'm saying? Because he want to be everywhere except there. <laughs> so that would be the thing that I would say. And it's hard. 
for people yeah. to, 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 to look at they, but they, they look at they, look they look at, at themselves. Right. Now I will say this too, because I don't want to say it's one thing or the other. I'ma also say this. Sometimes when you talk about that individual that you're talking about, you that's when you have to dive a little deeper and see how that person was raised. If that's all they saw and they never saw a family, like I ain't never been in no house that was a Cosby family. Never. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? That shit looks straight on TV and it's like, oh shit, Theo and Vanessa and damn it's a it's it, you know, he's a he's a fucking doctor and a mama lawyer. But I met almost zero people that <laughs> live like that. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? And when you don't see that and you see your dad that is abusive or abusing women or constantly telling his son you know what I'm saying? Don't trust these damn women out here, this and that. That's how they grow up. Yeah. They grow up that way. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, your mama, you know, she a piece of shit, and then he'll take you with him to his other female house. So you're going to think that that's how it go. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that's right. I'm just saying you're going to think that's how it go. But you might, before you dive in a relationship with the man, find out, like, is they parents still together? How much love do we have for, his, for, 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 his, for his mama? Was his dad a rolling stone? A lot of them shit plays factors into the man that you're getting. And I think sometimes, like, women just look at the man and say, okay, he got a good job, he got a car, check, check. And they don't check the rest of the shit on. <laughs> they just do the outskirts checks. And and even, for, and even for men, like, a lot of times we look at women and say, shit, nice titties, nice ass, get good head, pussy straight. And we just don't dive enough into, like... What they family like? Mm -hmm. We ain't met the sister yet. We ain't met the mama yet. And then we show up at the show up at the reunion or just the house, and you be like, "Oh no, <laughs> you know, what is going on?" You know what I'm saying? Like, and and then this is what you got to deal with, and then and then she start making sense to you. This is why she's like this. Mm -hmm. This is exactly why. Why I didn't know this. Mm -hmm. So I mean, just like you do your due diligence. I mean, with women, I think we also have to tackle with both. But for me, since I'm a woman, I'll speak on the woman's behalf. Why we feel like it's important to not only be okay without a man and to raise our children or stepchildren to be okay without a man is because if you're really submissive, kind of like I am, and you take your everything you have and you put it in that one basket and then i don't know six years goes by and then the guy decides eh, i just don't want to nothing nothing that the woman did wrong he just changed his fucking mind he, he don't want to be married he don't want to live it. he just doesn't want to be with her maybe he's okay with being her friend whatever but if he walks out of her life and she's dedicated everything that she's had for those six years and he just walks away, it's mm -hmm. abandonment. And women, that goes back to just like you said, you didn't dig into how he grew up. Well, guess what? Probably that that particular woman, her fa father is gone and now she was raised by a single mom and now she's had several boyfriends who done, she done signed a lease with this nigga. Six months in, he gone. Mm -hmm. She on the lease by herself and got to get a roommate. Or you done co-signed for this nigga a fucking car and now he stopped making the payments. She it's did. things like that. You abandon. You understand what I'm saying? And and that's that's a situation like that will cause the beast to come out of the woman. Because now she got to go get a third job just to make that other car payment. Because that shit in her name. She mm. don't want to ruin her fucking credit. She's working like a fucking beast. Trust me. When she meet her new man, he going to catch hell. Off of what the other nigga did. I'm not even saying that that's right. But it's a good reason for her to have learned how to live without a man mm -hmm. now she probably needs some some catch up on how to keep a man because she had to be a beast mm -hmm. just six months ago she was gonna lose everything mm -hmm. and so she gotta build up tolerance to niggas and they bullshit so once when that wall's supposed to come down and it's still up that's probably a good fucking reason she has a good reason to say well hold on i could do this without you so we're going to stay like this for now. You understand what I'm saying? When maybe it's the right guy she doesn't have to do that with. I understand why they would. And why you should raise your child or want for the person you love to know how to do it without a man. It doesn't mean forget how to keep him. It means know how to do it without them. Because y'all ass change your mind for no fucking reason. Mm -hmm. 
No man changes his mind. No, they change their minds without for no reason. But, but I mean, but no man changes. It could be something no that has man, nothing to do with the other person. Gotcha, is what I'm saying. Gotcha. So, no man changes his mind without reason. We always have reason. Now, you can say you don't know what that reason is, or maybe the reason <laughs> has nothing to do with me. Probably. Like maybe like Bruce Jenner. Hey, I don't like women anymore. I want exactly. to be a woman myself. Exactly. That's out of Chris Jenner's control. Gotcha. So gotcha, thank gotcha. God she had gotcha, her own gotcha. money. Gotcha, gotcha. But I will say this. Um, a lot of times with women, um, y'all tend to be a little dramatic, um, but y'all have this thing in y'all that women say, I need it to be 50-50 or you're just not doing enough. And even though you think you might be communicating, sometimes I also think that y'all also ignoring things that, you know, men say. In relationships, stuff that's big to the man mm -hmm. becomes minuscule to the women, and vice, you know, and vice versa. So that's why I said communication. Like if your man came home one day and was like, "That pussy just ain't enough for me," the woman is gonna take that immediately, Im immediately to. Defense. Yeah. Why now, should she heat? Now, now, well, I'm going to tell you why. Okay. One, often women be like, you know, when they get cheated on or you say they ho happen or, you know, some of, these, some of these things that go on is because you got to that point because you ignored every goddamn thing that he was saying. So I'm not saying you can't take it to offense or anything like that. But what I'm saying is y'all also stop listening. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it turns out, I don't know who this motherfucker think I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, talking about my pussy ain't good. And y'all just start going on and this and that. And it's like, you're not even, he's trying to tell you like what it is because he might just need sudden a little extra. You know what I'm saying? Now, is he worth it? <laughs> is to be the thing. You know what I'm saying? Is he worth it? And if he's worth it, you would take in, you, you know, you would take that in. Another thing is sometimes, man, y'all need therapy, and I'm not saying that in I'm not saying that in a bad way. So just hear me out, now. Nah. Just hear me out. You know what I'm saying? Cause see, anytime someone uses the word therapy, people start going crazy. Like, I don't feel like you can heal yourself if you come in out a bad relationship. Like all those relationships that you said, like, well, this person just treated me like shit, and this, this, and that. Like sometimes women don't even take the time. They jump like in another relationship. True. So that's why I said therapy. Like you, you like sometimes you can't. Y'all <laughs> self-therapy shit be like shaving y'all head and then jumping <laughs> and then jumping religions and or jumping to you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm gay now. You know what I'm saying? I, like I like women now. I don't even do dudes. It's like like that's y'all idea of therapy. You know what I'm saying? That go down. I'm like okay. Like that's the you need to go sit down with a real therapist. You know what I'm saying? Like we're not Britney Spears. We ain't going cue ball and all this other type of shit. But that shit happened. So I often tell people like when I see it, I'll be like. Her heart broke She finna do one of two things She finna change religions Or find God Or she finna cut all Her goddamn hair off Or she's finna go Start talking to another woman Or they just jump Into another relationship With another guy That's bad for them Sometimes you might Need to take a, a year break To find yourself And You know what I'm saying Just find yourself And during that time Seek some help Someone to talk to, a therapist is nice. Yeah, I've heard they work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And there's nothing wrong with that. I have to agree with you. I do. That's what pisses me off. Because I agree. But can you agree now, based on the things that we did? Because all we did was we went around and we talked about all the things that make people learn to live without. Because they're kind of forced into that situation. I get that. But you understand but what I'm my saying? Thing, but my thing is this. It's human beings, and I'm just gonna say this: It's human beings. We all want to be want to belong to something. We love companionship. We love those type of things. So to say that I can get along without, I feel like you lying to yourself. Like all those things that you doing, that you working towards, you working towards a goal. Well, what the fuck is the end goal? Mm -hmm. The end goal is a family. Right. Majority of the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you're saying that you're gonna live without a man, you can if if you choosing to do that. But I just told you. 
But those be the same women that when they find a man speeding down the goddamn aisle to get married. Yeah. You understand? And then find themselves in a bad marriage or we got married too fast because you didn't learn of, of how to love this man or learn how you love yourself to become a better person for that man. Yeah. Or, and vice versa. Yeah. And that's needed sometimes. I mean, I believe that everybody want to belong to something, whether it's a, it's a sorority or going, you know, saying a job sometimes, you know, completes them. And sometimes it's a man or sometimes it's a woman. But you want to belong to something. People are not just in this fucking world. We come in this world solo and we leave out. But while we on this planet, we like the camaraderie. Mm -hmm. And that's just what it is. So I'm not buying that shit about, you know, saying you don't want no man. You just don't want to learn how to love because you're either scared or you don't love yourself. Or you're just someone who believes in what all of us have been taught in the last 20 years. Talk that we who? should be strong. Talk about who? That, what do you mean? Talk, Talk about, about any female. I'm going to go out on a limb and say there's probably one out of, wait, maybe two. Out of all my female mentors mm -hmm. who have poured into me. I am woman, hear me roar. That's you don't right. need him. You need to go off and do it by yourself. And that's go. And I'm talking about female mentors and family. Mm -hmm. You I, understand what I'm saying? So this and a lot of people, a, a lot of people at, don't even know how I ended up being as I, submissive as I am. And I would look based at on you, who my mentors were. And I would look at your family and ask yourself and look and say, do they have a man? And if that was the case, that's why they preaching that shit, because they ain't got no goddamn man. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's good. If you want to preach that and and your outcome is not to have a man and you want to raise somebody like that, mm -hmm. that's cool. But if we being realistic and me being a strong man behind every strong man, there's a woman. Martin Luther King was strong, still had a woman. Malcolm X was strong, still had a woman. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ was strong and still had a woman. Right, right, you right. know, like at the end of the day, like men don't forget. It's just that. We just don't see the queens that we need because sometimes when you see that queen, it'll make that man complete and he'll go hard for the woman. Trust that. I, I, I get you because I, I recently had lunch with a friend of mine and she was saying how much trouble she had with dating. Um, not trouble, but she just put out this energy to me that, you know, when I meet a guy, it's like, uh, -uh I'm not dealing with this. I'm not dealing with that. Mm -hmm. And I mean, she was talking like she had all the qualifications check, 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 check. right and then at the end of the list she's like oh, and i have two roommates i'm like well that's not something a man wants to really embark on i mean not at our age i had roommates when i was between the ages of 18 and 22 mm -hmm. you understand what i'm saying so if you're in your 40s you got great credit you own your own house you're buying more real estate i mean you got all these checks and then i get to your house and there are two grown-ass men living here I'm not even considering you to be wifey material. Mm -hmm. I'm just not. I don't give so a fuck. Did you, that, did you I, say? I, so did you say that to her? Absolutely, absolutely. And what she say? And she was like, "I didn't even think of it that way." There you go. Learning, <laughs> not learning how to do it. And it's interesting that this the second part of posing that is learning how to live with a man instead of learning how to keep one. There was a lesson just in that conversation that hey, this might be a reason why. You're not remarried yet. This might be the reason why you think you haven't found your Prince Charming. The last guy could have been Prince Charming. But he wasn't letting you see the Prince part mm -hmm. because you got roommates. And he's thinking to himself, and, well, I'm and, not about to marry her. And I'll double down on that because really, when I see women and they are potential, I don't like to see what I call gray clouds. Like that is that it's that character from Charlie Brown, the one that got that, the dust, that the they dust got ball. the dust all well, around. Pin. Yeah, got it's that. Pin. They got that dust all around. Like men don't like to see that, and a lot of times that's what I'm saying. Like women be in that dust, and they don't realize that they in it. In the, yeah, you know, because every time I turn around, like, hey, you know, what I'm saying you want to go out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? My brother just called me. He done broke down. I got to send him some Western Union, this and that. Okay, we'll try next week. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My cousin just dropped by. He had nowhere to stay. And now he's staying the night with me. And All see, right. and, and see, but, but <laughs> this is so good. I'm so, this is so good. Because to the common ear, to the common ear, wow, she's dependable. Since I've known her, two people have called her for money and she gave it to him like that. She's got a big heart. 
she's so giving to the person doing it they are putting out this energy maybe to you that hey I'm my family's backbone mm -hmm. I help take care of them and to them they're saying something very positive to you it's a negative and I'm gonna tell you why <laughs> and, and, and I ain't even trying to be funny men also want to be prior to uh, have a priority. priority in your life too and if I'm number six that ain't working for me you know what I'm saying? I'm saying so. Like, let's just say, for instance, like when you meet a woman and then y'all together, you're number one in her life. Let's just say, for instance, that you are number one in her life. Right. Well, when she has a child, you you get removed. You get removed from one to, to two. two, just like that. And you accepting of that, but then her baby is her baby. Right. You understand? And now she got so, a brother, so now you been <laughs> down number three. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So now if I got to deal with a brother, cousin, your mama, and this, this, and that, and you, I'm getting knocked down the peg, yeah. I'm just like, okay, well, where the fuck do I fit in at in this whole scenario? Because yeah. I'm not trying to get scraps. And some people don't view it that way. And I get it and I understand, but if you, if you really assess your situation mm -hmm. sometimes... And I would say that to your friend, that is exactly why. Because ain't nobody really trying to be the seventh down the list. Yeah. The sixth down the list. Like, it's gonna feel bad to anybody. Yeah. I don't I don't give a right. fuck who it is because you people do what they wanna do. Right. So if I say I'm stranded and you be like I'll be there right after I drop off grandma and then pick my brother up because I gotta do some Western Union and I gotta wait three, four, five hours. For your ass to get to me, right. you don't have a fucking problem. Right. So that's it. What it is? I think we should pretty much say the solution is to be valuable enough to be able to do it without a man. But if you had one, you should certainly know how to keep them. This has been another episode of Relations. My name is Kana Lassiter. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Kana Lassiter. Hey, man, holla at your boys, 51 Spade, on both platforms. Hey, reach out to the Relations page. We appreciate all the love and comments. Leave comments. Watch parties are always at Friday at 8 p.m. Check us out. You're looking for the shirts. It's 51 Kings, alpha male, godcreations.com. Peace.